All right, so I'm gonna actually show you how I tape my hockey sticks. Uh, I've had a few people requesting to me how I do it. So, you know, we're gonna be taking care of that business here today. Right now, I've already got a little bit of uh, the stick prepped out right now. So if you can see, sorry, you know, my sticks, my stick blade is white. Uh, I do apologize about that. But uh, if you can see it, you can see there's a uh, thin strip of tape right here coming all the way to the top over here of the, uh, of the blade. Uh, now, as far as what I use, I use a puck. I've had this actual puck, and I've been doing my sticks with this since, uh, you know, for three or four years. If you can see that little uh, opening right there on the puck, that's actually uh, where well, that's going to come into play, and I'll show you why. This, uh, this puck, you know, like I said, I've been using it for years, so it's actually starting uh, to finally start showing some wear and tear from uh, the way that I that the way that I've been taping my sticks. Now the way that I do mine is uh, a concoction of many different years of uh, you know trying to figure out the best tape job that I can find, the best tape job that feels best, you know, and uh, what I can go from there. Now up next, what I'm going to do is I take another strip of tape, and I'll show you here in a second and uh, I line it all on the side down here and I caught this one from uh, watching Eric Cole prepping his sticks back when he was in Edmonton and uh, I really like this because I found out that it actually makes your stick a little bit more durable uh, the tape lasts longer when you're in a game and since I started doing this it actually stopped you know tearing up so I take another strip and I line it up with the bottom tape down the bottom of the blade and I put another strip up here where the puck is going to go more into contact so there's actually going to be about a double layered side of tape right there so I'm going to do the same thing in the bottom on the back as well where the backhand is of course and uh, there's no need to go any higher since well you're not really going to be touching the puck with the top of the uh, of the blade anyways what is the purpose of having that right right Everybody say right, fine, whatever. Anyway, so now that I have both my uh, both the bottoms of the of the tape, you know, prepped in, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add more tape. What I'm going to do over here is uh, I'm going to take this tape right here, and I'm going to set a nice little layer up against like that with enough hanging out, you know, right there. Uh, let me see if I can adjust the camera for you guys. So, you know, enough right there so it can layer out. And then uh, I'm going to repeat the same thing all over again. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it in the front. And I'm also going to do it in the back. So just bear with me. This is all in real time. I'm not going to sit here and make it go faster, uh, you know, from when you watch it. So now you have to, you're stuck listening to me. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know. I guess it's not that bad, right? Hopefully. So anyway, so we're gonna, the type, in case you're wondering what type of scissors these are, uh, these were given to me by a friend who's a doctor. Uh, so these are actually surgical scissors where they use for, uh, you know, for when people have surgery and they're taping them up and uh, after they've been doing, they've done stitches on them. So uh, that's what I'm actually using. Now let me go ahead and, and see. It's all nice and uh, set up over here on the back, on the back of the blade. So let's go ahead and do the same thing on the front. Now one thing that you really want to make sure that you do on the front or the back is make sure that the tape doesn't bunch up because then it's going to be really, really hard to actually be able to remove it. So you got, you've got to make sure that you're doing it correctly, you know, if you're going to be doing the way that I do it because not only am I kind of a stickler about how I tape my sticks, but also a big stickler about how, you know, if it looks neat. I'm not doing this for presentation, but I'm doing this so it doesn't fall apart on me. And I'll also show you another way, you know, of how I'm going to make sure that it doesn't fall apart. So anyway, so right here, these two sides are going to connect. You're going to do this, move them back and forth to cut off any type of negative space between the tape on each side. That way it just immediately cuts out. And then scissors, you're going to cut alongside as close as you can get to the blade. It doesn't matter if it looks clean or if it looks, uh, you know, if it looks a little frilly or whatever you want to call it. You can use, uh, you know, school scissors for all I care as long as you do it, you know, that 
way so it's gonna leave a little bit of slack big deal whatever so now what we're gonna do and this is always you know the the pain in my butt because of the way that I do it and uh, so I take the tape and I start in the back of the blade okay and I'm also I'm going to hook it and come over here now it's going to meet and I'm gonna and the front it's gonna look nice and neat in the back it's gonna look very ankled see what I'm talking about so we're gonna do that back forward back forward now I actually prefer to tape blade to heel because it actually keeps the blade and keeps the tape you know stuck on a little more when I used to do heel to blade it actually got a little bit of annoying because it would frill out a little bit more when I'm receiving a pass or when I'm playing around with the puck it actually you know the puck would actually start pushing away at the tape which starts bunching it up and then after a while you've got a whole frail of nothing there so I go all the way down to the heel and then we're gonna stop Let's see, we're actually going to stop right here, and I'll go ahead and edit the, you know, fix the rest. So, we're going to pull this one forward right here. Make sure we don't waste that precious tape. Now, as far as what tape I'm using, I'm actually using um, sports tape. I actually do not use Renfrew. In fact, I do not even recommend Renfrew tape. It's probably the worst brand of tape I've ever used. Um, it's way too, too, how you say, non-durable. It really is by far the worst tape possible as far as puck feel, durability. That thing just falls apart quicker than anything I've ever seen. So I definitely do not recommend Renfrew. So here's the tape job. Now, it's not actually done yet. I still gotta go back and cut this part right here that doesn't meet with the blade, but we'll worry about that later. Here's where the puck comes in. Remember that little ridge right here? So we're gonna grab that, place it alongside the blade, and now we're gonna run it all the way through to the end. Do it again on the front, do it again on the back, and then do the same thing on the top as well. Side front and then we're gonna do the same thing as well over here at the toe now I know a lot of you probably are thinking you know you've seen this before a lot of the pros do actually do it um, well that's cool if it works for them it works for me too right or yourself as well whatever you know whatever's happier for you so I also go back and do the edges over here get them nice and laid in there nice and flat so we're gonna go ahead and do the back you know, make sure those bottom rows of tape get nice and settled in because if you don't take away any of that negative space with the air bubbles or anything, your tape will actually start falling apart sooner anyway. Now, I always put extra, extra puck marks at the bottom because the rubber will actually really help it out, you know, from uh, tearing up a lot easier. Then you're going to do the same thing in the front. So make sure when you do it, you get it nice and right, nice and tight, because nothing is worse than your tape falling apart, and then you have to redo your tape. With this tape job, I can actually use it for about three or four games, even with people stepping on my blade or, you know, getting a nicked or anything. So now, it's basically as done as it is. This is usually how I keep it. But a friend actually, uh, I did a hockey deal the other day, and a friend really hooked it up. He sent me uh, some uh, surf wax, some uh, sex wax, whatever you want to call it. So we're just going to, you know, add a little bit of wax. I don't add a lot like most people, you know, really like to. I just add a little bit to kind of try to make the tape a little bit waterproof. You know, especially at the bottom, you try to make sure that you get a nice little, you know, nice little coat of uh, wax. You know, everything everything is useful. You know, whatever makes your tape last longer. Make sure that you get it nice and in on the blade, especially on the edges, over at the bottom. You know, make sure that it gets a nice little build up. Not enough to uh, hamper your feel for the puck, you know, or not enough to uh, be like Robbie Shrimp where you pick up the puck with your blade, but, you know, just enough to make it nice and waterproof and uh, it lasts. So there you have it.
this is my ideal tape job. This is how I roll, I guess you could say it. Um, I really do love the feel of the way that I do my tape now. Um, after about six years, seven years of uh, trying to find a really good tape job, this is how I ended up doing it now. So, um, you know, if you have any questions, go ahead and give me a, give me a holler. I'll do some other, you know, uh, blade tape videos. And uh, I'll show you many, you know, other different ways that uh, the people like to do it, other different, you know, ways that you would like to do it, or, you, you know, more ideas if you don't like the way that I do it, and uh, other different ways that I've tried, all right? So, um, you know, tape job, there you go. This was the tutorial. Probably the next time that we do it, I'll probably uh, show you guys how to do a knob. Uh, I usually use a uh, ribbed when I used to do regular tape, so um, I might do that. If not, you know, send me some uh, send me some suggestions of what you would like to see, and uh, I'll hook you guys up. All right, cheers.